start with which is six? And then how are they counting? <coughs> where are you going to start? Where are you going to go to? Which is six? And then I would start talking about the arrangements because in subitizing, that's what that is. That would be our scramble, that's our linear, that's our array. And I, I talk to the kids about those different arrangements. So then you would want them to go and go, which, which place is showing me a group of six as an array? Okay, so that's, that's where you have to go into. The research says that there is a, there is a, a, a sequencing of how you need to go through I that order the in there. Yeah. So you're supposed to start with, uh, with actually a race. You're supposed to start with a race, go into linear, go into dice, and then go into scramble. Dice oh, is actually okay. not even your first one. Okay. okay. Then you want to go into which is not six. Okay. And then again, we that's what we're thinking here. We're thinking, well, how does this connect to multiplication? But it's huge on multiplication because it's all in that equal grouping and those arrays. So where does that, that basic learning start? And that, that's a good way to start with those, with those little guys. When I was doing pre-K or doing a, uh, my capping project to learn from pre-K, that's what they were working on, which one's not, giving them a variety. And then which one again, or which one is showing that array model? Okay. So and then are all these four explaining the same thing, right? Are all of them four? And again, which one is, okay, which one's not, and why are the other ones? It's not about which one's not, but why are the other ones for? And again, how are they counting in that, in that sense? Okay, and then fingers. Finger patterns are huge. We think kids are counting on their fingers, and that's not. Yes, we don't want them, and they're going to start as counters, but finger patterns provide their understanding of a, of a, of a part of the whole. And again, isn't that what multiplication is? Multiplication is groupings to make a whole. So that's what those finger patterns do. My grade three still use finger patterns. Finger patterns are huge. So are all these four explain your thinking? Looking again at, and then you can move into, well that one's four, can we set that up as an array or a matrix? Can those be set up as an array or a matrix? Okay, and that area array model. And that, or equal groupings. You don't even have to get into that array, even into that vocabulary, into one and two. In kindergarten and pre-K, you can just equal groupings, fair shares. That's where that gets into. And we don't realize because multiplication in the end leads to fractions and decimals. Nothing is separate in mathematics. It's all connected. It's not an assembly line teaching. And that's what we need to think. We think primary, we think we're not teaching that. That's not in our curriculum, but yes, we are. We're actually setting the foundation for all of that. It's all that pre-learning that we're providing them. 